What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing some of my favorite packing tips, taking you guys with me as I get ready to leave for Mexico. I think this video will go up while I'm in Mexico and I apologize for that, but I have been working a ton at the hospital and trying to get everything in order. So it's been really difficult to film, edit, work, sleep, live, work out, but I'm there. So I wanted to show you guys the suitcase that I just got and show you, tell you a helpful tip. If you go to Target and you see something there that is a certain price and you look it up on Amazon and it's on there for cheaper, you can actually price match with them. They will price match anything from Amazon, a couple other spots they'll price match, but I got this suitcase for $93.48 on Amazon, um, I mean at Target, but they matched the Amazon price. So the Amazon price was $93.48 and Target's price was $139. So that's pretty neat in my opinion for a suitcase like this. It's very, very pretty. The brand is American Tourist. I like looked it up immediately when I saw it because I really liked it. I just didn't want to pay $140 for it because I feel like most of the suitcases I've seen and the one that I got for Sam was actually only $99 or something like that. So that's just not where I want to spend my money. I would rather spend my money on an excursion or something in Mexico so you open it up and it's really pretty I definitely wanted a suitcase that had uh, compartments like this to separate things I wanted to be able to have separation of different things so right here it just has these little clips you can obviously clip your clothes in right there nice handles very durable on the inside has a pocket right here pull this all the way back pull that back and very nice, so you could put packing cubes in here and I'm gonna show you guys what I have for travel stuff, but that is the suitcase I got. So just a helpful tip, if you're at Target and you see something, I'm definitely gonna do that more often because stuff is expensive and your girl's trying to save money. So I thought that was really neat. So that's the suitcase I have and I'm gonna show you guys the travel essentials that I'm going to bring to pack my things in. All right, so the next few things I'm gonna show you guys are just some things that I picked up for the trip for traveling purposes. Things to bring things in, things for the beach, things for my makeup, uh, toiletries, uh, fanny pack just in general for being at the resort, the bag that I'm gonna carry everything in, my actual carry-on bag that I'm not sure if I'm bringing yet, I will update as I pack here, purse for the resort, uh, laundry, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna share these things. I might not use all of it, but just to give you guys some ideas, some awesome Amazon finds, inexpensive things, let's, let's share these things. So first things first, this is actually my carry-on suitcase that I purchased from Amazon. I used this all summer long. I went to Texas with this, I went to Florida with this, I went on a couple home vacations with this. Yes, it's dented, That's, there's no way to avoid that, I'm not gonna lie to you. But this is, I think the brand is Cool Life, but I really enjoy this. So I picked the white one because I love clean colors. I didn't want black for any of my suitcases, that's why I picked the light pink as well. But this one has a little TSA lock on it. It has a side thing right here. You open it up, same kind of thing. So it has the separating sections. It has the clasps right here that will hook your clothes in on this side so you can separate things. And there's actually a couple pockets in there, which is great. But I love this suitcase. It's a perfect carry-on. I did have a little bit of trouble on a couple of the smaller airlines airlines, the smaller airplanes, people just, it was just a little bit difficult getting it in the upper compartment with these. So a couple of the flights I had, they put a tag on the top of it and just put it underneath or whatever for free and you wait when you're on the, uh, when you get off the plane, you wait right there and they'll bring it to you. So that's just this. I've had good experience with it overall and I really, really like it for the price it is. So that's that. I probably will bring this again. Like I said, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how packing goes, but then the next thing for travel essentials, I got this off Amazon. 90% of this is Amazon. This is just a little travel tag. I'm not gonna show it obviously, but it clips up right there and it has your address, all that good stuff on there. And I have this on this one and I will also put it on this suitcase. I have two of them. That's what the pack came with, but it's just this pretty floral print. Really enjoy that. So another fun little piece. And then if we hop into the suitcase, these are just some of the essentials that I have that I will be bringing. So this right here is just a reusable laundry bag. I love this for traveling because I don't like my dirty laundry mixed in with my clean clothes. And in Mexico, it's obviously just gonna be 
me and Sam in a room, so it would be a lot easier to just be a garbage person and throw it all over the floor. But like when I was traveling with my girlfriends in Florida and in Texas, I didn't wanna leave my dirty laundry all over their stuff. So this bag's great, it actually opens up. These are everywhere, these are not hard to find at all. You don't really need to get anything special. I think I got this one at TJ Maxx, but I had a comment on my last YouTube video about being able to do everything with one hand, which is my lifestyle. <laughs> Uh, so you just open it up and it turns into a collapsible bag that you can put all of your dirty laundry into. So that is just a fun little tip to keep everything separate. I really, really like that one. That's kind of essential. Next is, this is more for if you're only going to have a carry-on bag. I use these this summer. Like I said, this is a TSA approved clear liquids bag. So this would be the bag that you would put your clear liquids in if you were taking just your carry-on and you needed to put everything in one bag. These are great because they're TSA approved and you can fit as much as you can in here and it's better than just getting the Ziploc quart size bag because this is a quart size as well but it's just easier to close. has the zipper right here so your stuff's not going to get disgusting in a Ziploc bag and broken and then you don't have a Ziploc bag. So really like these. I thought these were great for my trips this summer. Definitely recommend. These little makeup bags are both from Amazon. They are the same as my fake Louie over here, which I'll talk about, but the brand is Daisy Rose, and I will link everything down below, but I got this and both of these Louie knockoffs from this little shop. I believe these were $22.95. They're little perfect makeup bags that I'm gonna put some beach stuff in here. I gotta go get sun stuff tomorrow, but you know, beach stuff, sunscreen, lotion, stuff I might need for the beach, uh, just different miscellaneous things that can go in here. Like I said, I don't know if I'll bring both of them, but I did get both colors because I really liked them. Just that print right there, it's totally fake. I am not ready to buy Louis yet, so I will stick with the knockoffs, but two little great makeup bags, very good quality, they zip great, they have a little handle on the side, and just easy to throw into a suitcase, so that's those. This isn't really an essential, but this is the bag that I will be bringing with me. This is just a open little thing and it has a pretty print on the inside. These bags are super in this year, the crossbodies, and yeah, really enjoy those. So that's the purse I will be using. I guess I can talk about this too. So this is the Neverfull, I think it's Neverfull, knockoff bag from Amazon that I got for the trip. This is what I will be traveling with, carrying all of my stuff in, and it's pretty decent on the inside. It does have a little bit of a yellow tint to it. It's not exactly like a Louis, and people who are really smart are gonna look at you and say it's fake, who are Louis fanatics, but I don't care. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have the money right now to buy one, so I'm gonna use this, and I just think it's more of an affordable option right now, especially paying off loans and stuff like that. But on the inside, it does have this little, this little wristlet that comes with it. It's really, really cute. I have a couple of their stuff. I have a few of their items. If you guys have seen my backpack, that's also from Daisy Rose on Amazon. So picked this up and we'll be putting all of my travel stuff in there. So little pocket on the inside. That's that. And then I showed this on Instagram, but I knew I was gonna film this in this video. This is the makeup bag that I will be using. I have a couple things in here right now, but it has a slot up here for your makeup brushes, which I think is great. It separates them from everything so that they don't get anything on your other products. There is a slot up here. I think I'm gonna put a couple palettes in here. I think I have a couple lipsticks in there right now, but these slots are adjustable, so you can pull this out and adjust it to where you would like it. So I really, really like that. I haven't put all my makeup products in here yet, but I will do that and kind of play around with where things are gonna fit and whatnot. But really good quality, I like it a lot. It's deep, you can fit tons of stuff in here. I have lots of lip products. I probably don't need to bring all these lip products to Mexico, but you know what I mean. There's a lot of room to play, and it's marble, which is always my favorite print. So that's that. I got a luggage scale. We'll be measuring our luggage before we take off because I am notorious for putting over 50 pounds in a bag and I don't wanna pay any fees. So I just picked this up at TJ Maxx for $6.99. So pretty easy find right there. Got a travel steamer because obviously we're going to a wedding. So I wanna make sure that my dress is on point and putting it in a suitcase for lots of hours is not gonna do that. So got a steamer. This one had really good reviews on Amazon and I heard also a lot of good things from a few bloggers. So I picked this one up. That's what it looks like. I haven't tried it or anything like that, but I will take it out of the packaging before we 
pack everything up to see how it works. Just got a fanny pack. I've shown this as well, but this is from Victoria's Secret. I have no idea if I'll use this or not, but I just thought it was a good little thing to have in case we were bopping around Mexico and I didn't want to bring my purse and I wanted it to be really close to my body because obviously you need to be careful when you're in another, when you're in another country that's not your own. You always just want to be careful and take care of your belongings. So having this close to my body makes me feel a little bit better. So I don't know. Maybe I'll use that. Maybe I won't. This little gadget is basically for toiletries. This will probably be where I put most of my bathroom things. Has two pockets on the side here. Well, actually, I think that that's... Nope, that's two. Yeah, two pockets. Two pockets on the side on this side. Two pockets on that side. It flips up and has a couple compartments up here for other things. And you can... I don't know, this is so hard to do with one hand. But... You can put all your products in there. It has that lining on the inside so it would be easy to clean up if something did get all over it. And it does have that hanger so you can hang it up on a bathroom door when you get to your resort or whatever to keep everything in place. Let's see, next thing, this beach bag I got at Target for $7. It was on sale. I know that it's very orange and it's fall so my mom was like, that's a little neon but I'm going to Mexico so it's always a good time there. Has a cooler on the bottom. I have I've never even seen this at Target, so I don't know when this was out, but it's the Shade Shore brand. Yeah, 748 was what I picked that up for. I just needed a beach bag, and I didn't want to use any of the ones I currently had, so picked that up. And on the inside, I have a couple things. Passport, which needs to go in here, but this is just a passport holder. I got this from Daisy Rose as well. This just keeps my passport in there. I'm not going to open it and show y'all my passport information, but this is just a cute little thing to have. It helps me keep track of where it's at, and I'm not going to be super worried. I can keep my custom stuff in there while I'm, while I'm in Cancun. This is just a cute little beach bag accessory. Again, you could put sunscreen or whatever in here, lip products, sunglasses, etc. So that's going to go in my beach bag. I kind of just have 10 million things laid out because I'm packing, but I wanted to show you guys a couple things I did pick up for vacation. I did get this invisible glass shield for my phone. My phone has been cracked forever, so I decided I needed to get a new one, so I just got the Zag one, and I believe this is a warrantied. I think this one has a warranty. Limited lifetime warranty. That was when I got my new phone. <laughs> I've had that forever. I'm going to bring this Brewmate uh, little can holder. I have no idea what they're going to have for drinks there besides you know, the basic drinks you have on your In Paradise, but I thought I would bring this in case they did have cans of any kind. Couple of my favorite snacks, Smart Sweets. I thought these would be good in my um, Daisy Rose bag just because, you know, travel snacks are key. I will show you guys what I have packed fully when I have everything done, but these are just a few things that I picked up for travel essentials, so. Highly recommend if you've never had these before. They are so delicious. It's only 80 calories for a bag. They are awesome. Another thing I wanted to show you guys was this watch band. I did get this from Amazon and I love it. It is so, so, so cute. I just needed something cheetah and they have lots of different prints, but I thought I would show you guys the cheetah band. So I did promise you guys I would show you what I picked up from Sheen. I would show you what I got from Amazon. Basically a whole review of everything I'm bringing for vacation. Not everything because I don't want to show everything, but for the main part, I will show you guys my review of Sheen, the few swimsuits I loved from Amazon, and just a good idea of travel stuff. So let's go ahead and hop into the try-on and I will talk through the products. All right, you guys. So for this first little set here, this is just a cute little night outfit that I thought would be fun, especially for Mexico, just to slide on and off. It has the donuts right there, the shorts, just kind of more of a cotton material, and I found it really comfortable. I really liked this set. This next one is probably my favorite one, the donuts and the coffee. These shorts are so silky. I don't know if you can tell, that's Sam in the background, by the way. I don't know if you can tell just how silky they are. Maybe you will here in a second when I come up and show you, but they are so movable. This was perfect in Mexico when I had food babies at night, and I know that that sounds kind of funny and gross, but sincerely, these shorts and top are like a silky material. So if you're into that for going to bed comfortable-wise, definitely would recommend checking out this set. I don't remember if they had other uh, prints, but I definitely loved this set. Okay, this romper was great. I actually threw this on after Abby's wedding on Saturday night and we went to this makeshift club at the hotel and it worked perfectly. 
The only thing I would say about this is it kind of rides up in the front and I don't know if you can tell that. It didn't really give me camel toe, but it definitely does ride up a little bit, but you kind of get what you pay for with these types of things. So I was overall happy with the romper and would probably purchase another one. You just need to be careful when you're wearing it to make sure that you're not getting that camel toe in the front. So. The bonus of this uh, bow in the front is that you can move it. You could probably have it in the back if you wanted to. I just kind of had it in the front. I'm pretty sure that night I wore it on the side and in pictures you can tell that it was very comfortable and just a cute little romper to throw on. That's exactly what it was for, was to just throw it on quick and go do something, which in that case that night, it was going to the hotel's club and dancing and sweating and it held up great. So, and this is a cotton material. Okay, I promised I would show you guys the good and the bad, and this was definitely one of the bad items for me. Not for everyone, probably, but for me, as you can tell, this just is not flattering in any way. I, obviously, if you were to wear this, you wouldn't wear something underneath of it, but I just, it was too tight on my hips. It didn't look good on my butt. Uh, the buttons were kind of pulling apart at the bottom, which is definitely not the look I'm going for. I don't like to look like things are super duper tight. I'm past that point in my life and that's just not cute on the bottom. So I was hoping it would be a cute dress, but it just didn't work out for me. So this was a no. Okay, this next dress is a white floral. Obviously, I am not wearing a bra with it, clearly. I would recommend getting the nipple covers. I think that they're called, I don't know if they're called no-show. I don't know what they're called. I didn't bring them to Mexico and I forgot, which was a big mistake by me. I did wear a black strapless bra underneath of this, but the point is to have a bow in the back right there. You can kind of tell that I did it, but I would have had, I would have somebody help you tie it is what I did in Mexico. It does have that slit in the front where you can show your leg a little bit. I thought that this dress was very comfortable. It's a silky material, so if you can't tell, it is definitely very silky. It's low riding in the front, so if you have bigger boobs, just be aware that it is going to ride low in the front. But overall, I really liked this dress and they do have lots of different prints for it. So that is that one. This dress gives me absolute chills. I'm so in love with it and I'm very sad I forgot to wear this in Mexico. I was going to wear this on the last day because obviously it's white and I was going to a wedding, but at that point, Abby and everybody had left. This dress is so pretty, you guys. I've seen people use this as their wedding dress. It's very inexpensive and I just feel it's so girly. It's so frilly and perfect for beach. So the back obviously is very open. You do not have much room for support up here in the front. As you can see the straps, they basically just go around your shoulders and that's it. So if you have bigger boobs, that's something to consider, but you can adjust it up and down, which is a benefit. So I loved this one. Would highly, highly recommend getting this one for the beach if you are going. This pink dress is a mimic of a green one that I have and I actually wore the green version of this to the wedding and I'll insert a picture right here of what I wore. I love this dress, but I was very upset that the sleeves, as you can see, you can see the sleeve sides, they did not come like the green one did. And the green one is available on Amazon. I'll also link that one down below because that's what I wore to the wedding. But it didn't come like that. They're supposed to be curly sleeves and I was very disappointed, but I love this dress overall in itself. It's just very pretty and perfect. It would be a great beach cover up, but I have worn this to a wedding twice. Not this pink one, but I've worn the green one in July of last year and then I wore it to Abby's wedding. But it does have the two slits up here in the front and the top makes you look very slimming and I think that's my favorite part about it. It's just the perfect boho vibe. So I will link both down below, but I didn't end up wearing this infamous swimsuit that got the most attention in mexico this is from amazon this is a size medium i obviously will put all the details below but this was my favorite suit i wore in mexico the bottom is extremely flattering it does come up and slims you in the waist the most which was my favorite part because i already knew i was going to be bloated from drinks and food etc the top is great as well the clasp in the back is kind of inexpensive so just be aware you're getting what you pay for but for a swimsuit that's this inexpensive i was very happy with this and would buy this in several more colors so this was a 10 out of 10 for me 
This pink frilly swimsuit was also a favorite of mine. I absolutely love the top. I think it's so girly, so pretty. Same class for the, as the other Amazon one. I kind of noticed a trend with those. They're very inexpensive to hook in the back, but I had no issues and none of them came off. I actually didn't end up wearing the bottoms on this trip because at that point, I just felt super swollen and bloated from just sodium, food, everything, drinking. So I didn't actually wear the bottoms. I wore the high-waisted black bottoms you'll see later in the video with this top but I still am so in love with the bottoms and top they go great together very comfortable the bottom is a little bit tighter just an FYI if you are thinking it's super high-waisted it's not so super cute love this one would recommend this was the first swimsuit I wore the very first day I got there it is very, very low coverage for your boobs. So if you have bigger boobs, I would not recommend this swimsuit whatsoever. It really does nothing for them. It's kind of like a bralette. This bottom is also very low cut and it's more of a thong setting. That's why you're not gonna see what it looks like in my butt essentially, um, kind of there, but it's very, very comfortable. This suit is probably the most comfortable I've ever worn in my life. It's just not very flattering. If you have bigger boobs, it's just, you're not gonna get any support. And if you don't like low cut you wouldn't like this one but i did like this one wearing it the first day when i had no bloat <laughs> this is another amazon suit this is basically the same as the pink one you saw earlier in the video this is what i was talking about i wore these bottoms with the frilly pink top this is just a basic perfect black swimsuit this covers your butt you know good coverage i i didn't really have any problems with this same type of clasp not very you know not super high quality, but you're getting what you pay for when you get a cheap swimsuit like this. I loved it overall. Really, really nice and good coverage slash, you know, perfect for any time. This next one is the cheetah suit. I got tons of questions on this one on vacation. This was probably my favorite one, specifically because I just felt like it was comfortable. It was the right amount of coverage for boobs and butt. It does give you a decent amount of coverage on your butt, especially, and I have a bigger butt, so I felt like it gave me a good amount of coverage. I wore this on the catamaran when we went to Isla Mujeres, I think that's how you say it, and I loved it. It's so cute, comfortable. The only thing I'd say is it gives you a little bit of that over boob at the top just because of the way it sits, but other than that, it is fully worth the price and I highly recommend this. They do have several other prints in this as well. All right, so this swimsuit cover-up was basically the one I wore the entire trip. I, I don't know, I wore it backwards here, nice. That's backwards, just an FYI. That is supposed to be the back and the front is supposed to be the short side, so love it. But I liked this, I don't think I would recommend it necessarily i mean it looks cute but when i was there i just kind of felt like a blob in it i don't i don't know it just wasn't my favorite swimsuit cover up of all time it is inexpensive if you're looking for one and i did wear this all week in mexico but not not my absolute favorite cover up in the world a one piece suit so this swimsuit was a no for me i definitely wanted it to work really really bad because i love one pieces i really do and i thought that it would be cute but didn't work with my boobs it was going to be a lot of boob all over the place and it didn't really look great on my butt but if you are smaller and have smaller boobs and it fits your butt better than mine you would probably like this you're able to kind of maneuver it to how you want it to be so another failed dress option i grabbed this because i thought it would be another cute option for abby's wedding the pictures looked okay on Amazon, and I thought, oh, I'm going to give it a try, but yeah, this did not work with my boobs. I don't know how people got this to stay up, but I I just could not get it to stay up. I don't have the absolute perkiest boobs from losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight in my past, so I wasn't able to make this work. If you have, you know, maybe a little bit, I don't even know. I don't know. I just felt like this wouldn't support anything. So didn't love this. This was a no for me. It was a pretty dress online. Again, maybe if you're smaller, but I just didn't feel like the V would stay up. As you can see, it's the gapping. So this was definitely a major no from me. Last but not least is just a cute little tank top. It says good vibes. I really enjoyed this shirt. I wore it over a swimsuit. Really, really cute. Easy, fun grab, recommend. 
All right, couple other things. So I am getting ready to go run some errands. It is 10.15, I got my workout in this morning. I am going to bring these chomp turkey sticks. I'm actually gonna bring one with me today. The macros on these are amazing. I don't know if you guys can see those, if it'll zoom, oh my goodness. Zero carb, 10 protein, two fat. I love these, this is the brand. I'm going to bring my balance because I take this every single day. Gonna bring my greens from Milani because I take these every day as well and I don't wanna go a whole week without having them and I don't know how many vegetables I'm gonna be eating on this trip, probably none. Uh, and this little mixer for the greens and just for drinks in general, if we mix anything in the room, that'll be good to have. I'm gonna take my vitamins right now actually, but I'm gonna pack seven of these. These are my care of vitamins I talk about all the time, the vitamin company I use. I have a few videos on them. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna bring seven of those and I have my coffee. This is my coffee order, venti iced coffee, you no know, classic with cream, two spun. And let's go, Rochelle's texting me in the group chat. I'm so excited to see them, all of them. I'm so excited. Gonna go get my nails done, run a couple errands. Gonna get a white Hawkeye Yeti for this trip to rep Iowa because <laughs> I'm extra and I really just want it. I've wanted it forever, but I'm like, that's a perfect excuse to go get one is for this trip. Gonna bring my hydro jog with for the trip so that we're hydrated. Let's go do errands. I have a couple more things to show you guys and then I think I'll be officially done with this vlog. I know I already finished the vlog, but I think I'm gonna do a different outro. So I ran to Target because I needed to get a few things. I'm getting my eyelashes done tonight, so I'll probably show you guys that when they're done. I got a couple things group chatting with my girls about the wedding and everything going down. So I think I'm gonna wear this in the airport tomorrow because it's obviously cool here in Iowa, but it's not gonna be cool in Mexico. So this is just a cute cropped hoodie. It was only, I think it was 20 bucks, yeah. So I thought this was cute, a good travel outfit. I'm gonna wear black leggings and then I'm gonna wear my uh, Ultra Boost. I figured that was a good travel outfit and then I don't have to pack my shoes and keep those clunky in my suitcase so I can just wear them. So I picked up that. This whole bag is full of all the travel things, all the goods. I got, whoo, got some gum, got a Tide stick. I don't know if I'll need that or not. I got these little eye wipes for my skincare stuff. Got some travel contact solution, some travel toothpaste. Sam and I like different toothpaste, so grabbed that. Got a face balm stick. This is 30 SPF. I will probably not use this the first day, but I will definitely use this when I have a little bit of tint on my skin. And then this looked really awesome. This doesn't have SPF in it, but I got it anyways because I really love the Raw Sugar brand. If you've never tried their lotion, body wash, etc., their stuff's awesome. So I got the Lemon Sugar. And I like how big it is. I love that. I'm excited. I'm gonna use that here in a second. Got a couple travel containers for my hair products. I am really hoping to God that I do not have to wash my hair because I have extensions and I don't wanna go through that. I think I'm gonna get a blowout at the resort for Abby's uh, wedding on the day of her wedding because I think that's what I'm gonna do with Rochelle. So got some Dramamine because I do get motion sickness just to have, I needed to get some updated meds anyways for just to keep for traveling. Got a couple Q-tip travel things. These are really great because I would rather do this than pack a little mini bag. Just, I don't know, I like the case. It's hard and keeps them in there. Got some Tylenol because <laughs> drinking is going to be happening. Uh, Tums in case the food down there or ice or water or whatever, if something happens, we have these just in case we have upset stomach. I didn't get a modium because <laughs> I know my friends are all gonna have it, so. Got some tanning oil. I like this tanning oil a lot. Yes, I use sunscreen, but I also like to have a deep tanning oil too, so I got that. Got a mini uh, shaving cream, and that's everything from Target. So I'll just throw all that back in the bag. Really didn't think, I, I got to Target and of naturally I didn't remember what I was going there for, so I got that sweatshirt and I ended up in shoes. I didn't get any shoes or anything, but I was in the shoe aisle and I didn't even remember what I was going there for, so. Went to Shields and I picked up a Yeti. I wanted a Hawkeye Yeti. I've wanted this for a long time and I finally just decided to splurge and get it for Mexico because I wanna rep them. It's Hawkeye Homecoming this week and this video should be up before then, but if it's not, Hawkeye Homecoming. So I wanna rep them. Got the basic lid in there. This is just the standard Yeti. It was obviously more expensive because it had the engraved Hawkeye on there, but 
got that and then I wanted a straw with it but I wanted the indestructible straw so I paid the 10 bucks for the lid that has just the hole in there for the straw and it, the straw comes with it so you can get cheaper stuff on Amazon though I know you can I just decided to get that and then I also got this sticker and I can't decide if I want to put this on there or not I don't know what do you guys think do we like that I thought it would be cute on the back because it's white. I love this so much. So those are just a few other things I picked up. I need to wash my hair now, wash it and curl it, dry it, the whole nine yards, which is gonna take forever. I went and printed our travel documents, which was important. I got my toes done. I'll show you guys the color. I'm not in love with it at all. Kind of mad I got such a nude color, but yeah. So did that and got a workout in this morning. I told you guys that. So I'm gonna wash my hair. I'll let you guys see my eyelashes later. And I think we're getting ready to go. I love her so much. I'm pretty sure we're BFFs, we just don't know it yet. Love Bailey. I'm watching her taco pasta video. Okay, I really can't turn bales off, but this is my hair freshly washed. And straight I don't really show it that often straight and stuff but I do have extensions I get a questions on that I've had them for almost a year now uh, they're MBR extensions so they're hand tied in my hair all right so I told you guys that I would show you the lashes when they were done I am going to end this vlog right here I am getting ready it is 10:45 right now I really need to go to bed ASAP ready for mexico hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed and i will see you guys in the next one love you guys so much